Hello. 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 I've just put up on notices on 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 Facebook for for John Key and and those landowners of Cook Street. It's up now and. Uh, They've got to respond by the 29th. If they don't, we're going to take the whole place and the country. It's all gone on there now, so they can't do much about it because the British are watching. They're reading into what's happening up there, right when I'm getting ready to have the hui in Auckland. That I wanted them to be there, and I wanted everybody to be there. But it appears that there's problems up there. It's not going the way I wished it would, and Manahi is is <coughs> affected by what's what's happening with his Moriori side. Uh, the only thing I can see, if any, is that in our talks up there and what has been happening between me and you and Te Unga Waka Marae, that may have something to do with it, where, 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 where I'm frightened that I might not get the marae. And we were, we were putting everything into this for the Moriori Manukau title in Auckland. Uh, I think it's deeper than just anything said across the bows because it's crossing the 1835 and the 1834 and we're trying to keep them apart because one is British and one is New Zealand here, Maori. There's, two, there's a difference and he's, uh, he's looking at it from a, uh, a straight Moriori side where everything's gone over the top of what he thinks. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, eh? For him to say that I have offended you, that's where the, 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 the nuts and bolts is, and I, and I don't think I've offended you for him to have known our conversation anyway. Well, that's for him to, he, he's made his own decisions on what I'm uh, preparing to take this country back, and um, I'm going all out with that flag. I'm, I'm making the flag work for us. <clears throat> I'm, 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 I'm only interested in getting the history right, getting the flag right, getting our people right, and so far uh, things have crossed the bowels of, of um, uh, Ngāpui um, uh, with everything that I do. I've been up there for that long that I know how it all works, and Manahi is trying to uh, keep on track with what what we have to do and I think with you if it means if you offended me it'll only mean that I've set up the Unga Waka Marae and with you having uh, a hui that was going to jeopardize that that would have uh, got to him because I didn't want anything to interfere with that marae while I got this hui on um, and I, I want it to happen. I put a lot of effort in just getting the documents ready for Westminster. They're already gone. Bundy and them already sent them. <coughs> but with all the arrangements that are going on between yourself and, and um, Poroho and them, there seems to be a lot of friction there, and that's what's got to me. That uh, 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 out of everybody there, they don't come close to where this flag means. And I'm trying to make the flag work for Ngāpui, and everybody doesn't get it legally. It doesn't. It doesn't come across legally. Not understood well. And it, I needed more time to explain it how it works, and that'll happen on the 29th. I will say everything, and I'll have videos on how it all works from now till the 29th, because I've just put notice out. On, online uh, and the whole world's watching. But if you've offended me, 
I, I, I would forgive you for whatever I might say. Um, that no, 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 you have not, you have not offended me. Oh, I'm, I'm saying that it might have been something out of context between what we are saying to make things happen. That yeah. they've got the yeah. wrong impression or someone would have the wrong impression. I, I don't, Manahi makes his own mind up. I don't make his mind up for him. Yeah. And so, um, uh, so does uh, Puraho and, and the rest of them. They make their own minds up. I, I'm, well, well, Jim, something that I have said to you, <coughs> and I, I read in, in, the, in the thing, it's something I have said to you that I have offended you. And I, I have not realized that I, I have offended you. It's for, that's how Mana is taking this. The, the only thing that lo looked like it offends me is that. I booked the Moroi and, and and you had some other arrangements, but that's not that's nothing serious. But no, I, no, I, no, no, it was not. It was just a, in a conversation. It was nothing. I mean, the bottom line that you you uh, you had organised the mine. Yeah, and and I'm and I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm to pay for it or however that's going to happen. Um, yeah. But I'm 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 saying to money and them that we will chip in when they come. And I, I, normally I get that Mariah pay for everything out of my pocket, but um, I'm limited to how much I've got, but I, 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 I've saved enough up by not going to the Hui's up there. Um, well, he, he texted me a message last week that he, he wanted my bank account to put a hundred dollars in, but I didn't reply to the text. Uh, see, I, I didn't arrange things like that. I, yeah, I, well, I, I, I he asked me... He asked me he asked me for my account so he can put money in, but he didn't mention anything about anybody else uh, yeah. having to put money in because that's really up to anybody coming to Koha anyway. And I, 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 I don't make demands on anybody uh, because I usually have a box with a slot in it and they just drop it in at the hoodies. That's how I do it on the front desk. <clears throat> but, um, um, you know, it's up to people who are coming um, that um, they contribute. Otherwise, I'll find a way around it. And at this stage, it's clear that I have the Marae organised and that you had no other group going there at the same time, which I'm clear about. Yeah, that was the confusion that might have offended him because he put his heart and soul into getting the Manukau title through to get the, the British to listen. Yeah, well, I might bring him up later on to see what his version is. That's what I think. I think he didn't want to spoil the, the hui and, and not to interrupt our connections with Ngāpui, with Britain. This is about Britain and, and Ngāpui, really, and that flag. That's, that's all it is. It's a, a business, um, business um, um, uh, thing to deal with. <clears throat> it, it's more not uh, the spiritual, it, it's the physical thing to make contracts work. And he might might be um, more inclined to be spiritual or any other side of it, but I'm, I'm straight uh, uh, contract business in Auckland. And we've got to make this work to, to get one land back, to get the whole lot back. And this is the only way to do it. We have to put our differences aside and go in as one on that day. Okay. Have a talk. Yeah. Have a, have a talk to him, and I don't demand any any donations um, uh, like that, but on their own will. Okay. Okay. Bye. <coughs> oh hell, that was hard. That was hard. I've just got over putting things on my girlfriend here in Philippines. Hang on.
<coughs> well, um, I'll just answer my my friend, my friend um, in Philippines. She's a nice girl. Uh, anyway, um, back to the subject. Um, I have my head around everything I'm doing today. I'm a bit of a rush to get these documents done. I've got them all printed today at the library. And this is the Rick Warren uh, notice of um, seven day notice to John Key and uh, uh, the landowners of Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, uh, that they'll have to respond. They will come, they'll have to come to this um, magistrate, native magistrate court hearing in um, Epsom. If they don't turn up, then the law goes against them. The law goes against them. They lose by default again and again. But this time the British won't take them seriously anymore. And so we have the right, the legal right, to seize the properties of these offenders. They have broken the law of New Zealand, the Crimes Act 1951 and 1961. They have broken our own laws of Maui Crown, King William IV Trust, and our British partners, the Britain, British Navy, and British military government. Uh, so, um, I see I, I've got some people online now looking at the Facebook where I put this um, I'll just put that in there and finish, finish, finish it afterwards. I'll just, I will drop the 18 page Rick Warren notice to respond, will be signed and witnessed on the 29th of September 2017, where those are accused of land theft, fraud, corruption and treason must be there in their flesh and blood to defend themselves in real, and their eight point star of St. Patrick that they're wearing, they are wearing without our paramount chief's legal, legitimate authority against our New Zealand Pacific Islands Eight Point Star, St. Patrick's 1834 Declaration of War Flag, Sovereign Authority of King William III and King William IV Dutchman, founders of New Zealand, with our Moriori <coughs> paramount chief Tira Waikato, Whare, Here, Here, Manukau, and Cook Island, Tahiti, Paramount Chief Hongi Hika. There. <coughs> <coughs> and so I'm just making these uh, bold statements on Facebook and I'll be making short videos on YouTube to solidify our titles on this eight point star against the Queen and everybody else that's the wrong bloodlines wearing this eight point star of St. Patrick order on our flag here. This is the receipt of the four corners of the earth with an eight point star, this one on my head, has the authority to rule over in the king's absence. Okay, I just want to let you know that that's what I've been putting online today. I've just had a call from Willie Pater. <coughs> um, so it's sorry that um, things are not going too well up there, but I hope they will sort it out. <coughs> and <coughs> uh, Willie, in some ways, offended me in not a serious way, but when they don't know, they're misinformed, uh, I, 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 I'd be offended by anyone whose lack of intelligence of this flag and this eight-point star that belongs to Ngāpui. I'm, I'm flabbergasted by the lack of intelligence of Ngāpui chiefs and the Tomata Kaumatua of who they actually are and what power they have, they just don't know how to use it. This flag is the most powerful flag in the world and they can't get it yet. I hope this time on the 29th of September 2017 they'll really get it. I left all the signatures till then, I put the notices on without any signatures on it and they are ready to sign on that day, 27th at 12 midday. John Key and James Pierce Brown, the landowners of Cook Street, J 
James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Grantree, you've got to turn up there in front of the Paramount Chiefs, the landowners, the commercial landowners of New Zealand country and Pacific Islands. Okay? If you don't turn up, it goes against you. You're going to lose everything. We're just going to seize it all because the police lost the case against me because I'm wearing this. And the shirt they took off my back is the King's shirt, the surrogate King William IV, and his photo on it, and his coat of arms on it, and now I have my own coat of arms of Cosgrove and Rogan's behind me to go against. You've got all that on your heads from Belfast in Northern Ireland, Ulster, North Island, New Zealand, Ulster. You've got that stacked up against you and your titles from Australia, second hand. No Queen, no seal in the courts, no seal from Westminster, no, nothing, just fake thin air. Now, if you don't turn up, I'm warning you right now on this video, you will have all your properties and your assets and your business seized and we will run it over ourselves. We will manage it and I have managers to take it right over at your expense and your consequence of crimes you committed and the police covered it up and the lawyers covered it up and the courts covered it up and the judges covered it up and the politicians covered it up and the Governor General covered it up and the Prime Minister covered it up and the <coughs> Supreme Court Justice covered it up. Everyone in your government, New Zealand, covered each other's fraud. And that's the reason why we have exhausted any form of justice in this country that we had to revert to our own justice, magistrate court and Britain, <coughs> our partner, the Navy, the British Navy military and the British government the way it is now. So Theresa May, this is to you. Please take note of this um, video cited fact evidence that you are now responsible to recover all the debts that are right on the power note, the Maui power note with King William IV Trust as your partner, legal and legitimate partner. We are nominating King Ernest Augustus the fifth as the reigning monarch, sovereign of Britain, UK. He is the current king of Britain, UK, and there can never be another king in Salic law forbids woman succeeding to the throne as far as we are concerned with King William III and King William IV. Jurisdictions of Admiralty, court martial law. We are the only court martial law left in the world after Pope Francis got rid of all your Queen Elizabeth, <coughs> Queen Victoria side, US Federal State, America, United States of America, got rid of your Admiralty, UCC laws, canon laws, courier laws, civil laws, and martial law, Admiralty law. Got rid of all of your laws. Hang on a second. What's he want now? Carol, confirm sale date. Contact in America, Daryl Payne. Um, <clears throat> just going over his land titles at the moment. Of, and that's King William the Fourth titles there as well. Won't be long. Um, so uh, that's our contact there, and um, um, <clears throat> so they're following us in America because they are affected by the same titles we have in Canada and Australia. <coughs> Although Australia is being very quiet at the moment, they're not 
not seeing very much. I can't see anybody jumping to the mark here. So uh, I'm getting better too. Um, um, I'm feeling a bit better, a little bit cheesy, but I went for a walk up, up the road and felt a bit lightheaded. But um, the legs are starting to wind back into action. Boy, those medication is just no bloody good. <coughs> Gopi, uh, my, my doctor, you can stick your medication up your fucking ass because it's no good. You, 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 you're not a doctor. You're a drug dealer and you're going to get a bill from me because you just about killed me the other day. You and your fucking drugs. I, I don't mind swearing on, on, on my videos because I need it. I'm, I'm, I'm for real. I, I don't like fakes like you and all your medication that fucking kills everybody. I'm going to prove to you that you were there to make sure I fucking die. That's what you said to me. If I don't take my medication, I will die, you bastard. You bastard. Naya, 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 uh, Gopi, Naya, 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 Gopi, Naya, you bastard. I'll, I'll jam you with this. When I get all, I'll find out what's happened to me and what you've been doing to make me ill and make me disabled and seize my legs up. It's you and your fucking medication, mate, that I'm going to wrap you up in behind this warrant to seize everything from you. I'm going to seize everything from you and shut you down. The same way as others are going to shut down the chemtrails and everything going on here, in this country at least. Well, English, your days are numbered. I'm warning you right now that John Key is with you. He has libeled you. He has libeled all the banks. He has libeled Air New Zealand, the company that he's with now, and he's libeled every one of those corporate companies in the Crown side against the King side as a threat to come here from Australia and steal this. That's the offence that's coming up on that hearing on the 29th of September 2017 in Te Ounga in Epsom, <coughs> Auckland Central. So, you better turn up, John Key. You better turn up to that hui and that court hearing. Otherwise, it's defaulted against you. Over and over again. This is the last time I'm going to do it because you're all over my Facebook sites. I have a special Facebook site for you and all your crimes. It's recorded. It's on the record and there are witnesses all over the place looking at what I'm doing to you. I am humiliating you in public before I lock you up with these paramount chiefs behind. <coughs> you have done enough damage for your own private investment interests and not our interest here of the paramount chiefs, the commercial landowners of this country and the citizens of New Zealand who pay and you put them and keep them in debt. All their lives they'll never get out. You're going to go straight the opposite way and you're going to get all this debt put on your head. The whole 970 million trillion trillion pound note is on your head and your queen. <coughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm going to make little clips of the events in this next seven days as citations against you and to you two landowners on Cook Street citations against you as well and that's going to stack up in the courts in Westminster Magistrate Court for all that I'm charging you people thugs and pirates you can't do a thing about it because too many people know now and you're going to have to wear the bell and lock you up and we'll take over all your companies we will take over them because we know how to do it will do a better job than you. That's for real. Because we are the real owners of this country and not you. Playful thugs playing around with our lands. No more. And in other countries, no more. You elite bastards, days are over. George Soros is cleaning you lot out. Obama's cleaning you lot out. And they're not on our side, but the Freemasons, I'll clean you out. They're on our side. 
with this title, the Maui Crown, King William Fall Trust, and the Paramount Chief, Te Rawaikato Whare Herehere Marakau, and Mohi Te Māti Marakau. Moriori, titles in this country. Okay, you got that? I'm saying something quite loud, and I mean what I say, and it's going to stick forevermore in your minds, as much as I can swear to God above, I swear right to your face to turn up. If you don't, you were crooked anyway. And I'm accusing you of all the things I say against you. And this is the title. This man over here, Mui Manigao, Mui Manigao, Mui Tamati Manigao the Fourth, Freemason. Right, can you see? I'll put it right in front of you. Sorry, sorry. Can you see the Freemason? Right, see, see, see. See all those things hanging down from? Him? Yeah. Well, I'm carrying that bloody lot. I'm carrying that bloody lot. He gave it to me. And what do you think I've got to do with it? Why didn't you give it to his family? No, because it's a contract. It's private. It's nobody's business. You're not supposed to know anything about this. You're not supposed to know. Not, none of you. It's a, it's a sworn secret. Zip. Well, me, I don't keep any secrets. I let it all out. And it's going back to the right owners. And that's what I can say. To all you Maoris, you better sort yourselves out because you're a bit mixed up. The Moai is not mixed up. He's solid as a rock. He is a rock. And Maoris is flipped out. It's mixed up because you've got the Queen buggered you lot up. She's gone and split the whole bloody lot up and made it what it is and made you fight against each other. The brown ones against the white Maoris. And the white Maoris are winning by a small margin and the brown Maoris are going to knock you out. Hey Bundy, hey Manei, hey Hiruini, Hiruini, he, he's the one. He's 90 years old, that man, and I like him. I like him because he's strong and resilient and he can talk at his age just as much as anybody else can talk, but he's got it here. He is the key to this country's return back to its owners. Okay, that's all for now. I, I think I've said enough because I want to start pushing my body around because it's packed up, man. I really packed up. The bones were just going to hell with this medication, man. It just really... I, I took some Panadols on top of it. And I think I doubled up on, on these night ones for my stomach. And that just made it worse. I, I doubled up on, the, on the, the night pills for my stomach pains. And it just got worse. So I sort of bugger it. <coughs> I always did this in the past. <coughs> Any time I have a stomach ache, I get the old Epsom salts out and baking soda and mix it up. But I put more than enough in. I mean, you shouldn't put more than a half a teaspoon. I put a whole tablespoon in and a whole tablespoon of soda and soda with Epsom salt and mix it up with hot water and boy, it just makes you go and out, it flushed the whole lot, everything out, in, including half the stomach out. And that's why I went weak and I went weak after that. And at the moment I'm, I'm not eating. I just want to, it's a quick way of fasting to make the body go back to itself, you see. Um, I'll, I'll come right, it'll take a week, it'll, it'll take three or four days after taking uh, that medication, that the best medication in the world, that's a natural medication, Epsom salts and baking soda. Baking soda and baking powder is the best thing for fixing you up, not this crap, this rubbish, this rubbish, this rubbish, this, this fucking rubbish. Just fucking rubbish, right? There, that's where they go in the rubbish. I want to, I want to get rid of that stuff and go back to the natural medicines. Okay, so that's all for now. I'll, I'll try and focus on, on the subject in hand and get back to you soon. Bye.
today is um, Friday, Friday 22nd of um, September 2017 and it's 12.38, 38 minutes past 12, uh, I, I, I've got the notice to out by 12, so that means on the 29th of September at 12 o'clock, right on 12, that would have been seven days for John Key to turn up in that court hearing at 1 Clyde Road in Epsom on Manukau Road on the corner, Clyde Street and, and Manukau Road. You turn up there, John Key. If you don't, mate, you're gone. You're gone. You're guilty as charged. And to those landowners, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Browntree, you know you're fucking crooked, thieves and vagabonds. You had the police to cover you up and it failed. You failed against me in the court hearing and the next one, you, you'll never be able to go back through the same thing again. We're coming in to pick that property off you. That's it. We're going to take it over. <clears throat>